just want to uh, encourage everybody, not just uh, the students, but the entire community on Fridays uh, to show our Wolfpack love, uh, wear Wolfpack gear every Friday, uh, supporting our athletics and just our whole campus. Um, and then what an awesome night, Friday night at 6, uh, opening football game. Let's get the whole northern Nevada community out to support Coach Jay and his team. They've worked hard and had a great preseason, and I uh, can't wait to watch them play against Portland State on uh, Friday night. Uh, really excited to get started. Um, uh, obviously, playing uh, Portland State, you know, representative from the Big, Big Sky Conference. You know, and this school's got a long uh, tradition of offensive success, you know, Miles Davis put the run and shoot together there and June Jones. And, and so we're really, really looking forward to playing this opponent. You know, they're a spread attack offensively. We're going to see about everything you could possibly see offensively. Quarterback run. They have two quarterbacks that are really mobile and that can give you headaches. Um, they've got a bunch of really big tight ends that can uh, block and be excellent pass receivers. Um, they've got a good running back in Jason Talley, uh, you know, and they got a transfer wide receiver from Washington that we've got to be be aware of. On defense, they got a new coordinator. Uh, they got new coordinators on both sides of the ball, offense and defense. So you know, it's a little bit of an unknown. We're not really sure exactly what we're going to see from them defensively, uh, but but we know they have nine defensive linemen back, um, and they like the pressure and play a lot of man coverage. So we're going to have to be ready for that and prepare for that. Um, you know, we really had a productive summer. I'm really proud of the progress our football team has made. We've gotten bigger and stronger. Um, we're in really good condition right now. Um, I think we're more accountable uh, as a football team. Uh, I really like our leadership. And uh, we, we voted for a blue collar leadership committee which is one player from each position and um, on offense and defense and then a uh, special teams representative as well. We meet every week uh, with that leadership committee and those guys have been doing a great job. Our team voted for captains. Um, Ty Ganji will represent the offense as an offensive captain. Malik Reed will represent the defense as a defensive captain. And then uh, Wes Farnsworth, will we'll, uh, represent the special teams. And um, I just feel a lot better about our leadership, a lot more mature. Guys are making each other accountable, and that's, you know, that's the way we want to be. We want a, a blue-collar football team, so we need blue-collar leadership. Um, you know, just like Coach Muss said, we want to invite everybody out to Mackey. Um, we love playing at home. You know, uh, uh, the Wolfpack's 230, 94, and 2 in Mackey Stadium since 1966. And our football team seems really aware of that home record. We're very proud of it. And uh, we want to play great at home. And this is what this is our first opportunity this year with a great home schedule to play in front of our home fans. So we're really, really excited about that. You know, we want to invite everybody to come out. And uh, we really want to make Mackey rock. So that's something that we want to have as a home field advantage. And uh, we, get we get our first, first opportunity, opportunity Friday night. So really looking forward to it. With that, any questions? Coach, you just spoke on the home field advantage. I mean, it's, it's obvious, but I mean, how big is it to open up the season at home compared to being on the road? I think it's great. You know, last year we opened up on the road, but you know, our kids are really excited and comfortable to play at home. Um, and we're excited to show this football team off. We got an exciting team. Uh, we've got a lot of playmakers coming back. Uh, we've added uh, uh, to a really great receiving core with two really exciting young receivers and Romeo Dubs and Cole Turner. Um, we've added two real physical backs that are explosive one-on-one -on -one runners and, and Toa Tao and, and Devontae Lee at running back. You know, we think it gives us a little different element that we didn't have last year. Uh, we're much more physical on defense, bigger. Uh, and the defensive line, and more athletic at linebacker. So we're pretty excited about this football team. We, we're anxious for people to see us play. I think we're going to be an entertaining team to watch. And it's always great to start at home. Is there maybe a better confidence coming into the season from the guys? 
Well, well there's a definitely a familiarity. Our, our, our team is more familiar with the different schemes that we're running. Um, we're, we're excited about playing. Uh, there's more confidence and repetition because we're more familiar with the schemes. And, and they've got another year of experience running it. So um, I think our summer was really excellent. I was really pleased with how our seniors uh, handled our summer training. Uh, you know, we had captain's practices, and those guys ran it. And uh, we just got a lot accomplished in, in a lot of repetition. So I think that that has uh, given our team a lot of confidence. One word we heard a lot throughout camp was just comfortable. How, how, how did you see that day in and day out with this team, maybe compared to last year, just how up to speed everyone is? You know, it's uh, comfort comes with repetitions, and we've got more repetitions in this system. Um, you know, we spent a lot of time blocking and tackling and running the same schemes over and over again. You know, our whole offense is built on time and distance. It's the repetitions that you get feeling comfortable running the same schemes over and over. So uh, the more that we do it, the better we execute, the more comfortable we seem, the more we're on the same page. So, And we're seeing the same thing defensively. Uh, I think, you know, I think Gabe Sewell is our middle linebacker. Uh, he's probably improved as much as anybody on our team. Uh, just because he's been in this defense for a year, he understands the fits. Um, he's got much bigger players in front of him to keep blockers off of him. And so you're seeing him make more plays. And so we're anxious to see that carry over to the season. And, and we want to be a team that gets better every week. Are you going to bring up the Idaho State game at all as far as not overlooking an FCS opponent? Just on, you know, I, anybody who was on the team last year, I probably remember that game. Right? Yeah, we, we, we actually talked uh, quite a bit about that, actually. Um, you know, we, we talked about our goals for the season and the schedule, and, you know, we laid out 14 footballs, and the footballs represent every game. And no game is more important than the other. You know, the, the Portland State game is not any less important than the Boise game or the San, San Jose State game or the San Diego State game. So every game is equally as important. Um, and, uh, you know, I actually showed them the first four snaps of the Idaho State game on offense. We jumped off sides. We had a holding penalty. And then on defense, you know, we let Idaho State go right down the field. So I showed them both first series. And, I, and it was obvious to me that our team wasn't, didn't have an edge and didn't respect their opponent. And so that's really important. Um, you only get 12 regular season opportunities in the game of football. We can't play all year round. Uh, all we can do is practice. So the opportunities to play are really important. And, and that comes from with having good accountability, good leadership, and, and great practice habits. Any update on Sean Krebs? You know, Sean's fighting through. He's got an elbow injury. He's kind of day-to-day -day right now. And we're still uh, leaving out hope that he may play. Uh, Kalei Myers uh, working at center as well. And so if Sean can't go, then Kalei will be ready to go. Any surprises on the depth chart for you from maybe what you would have penciled in before camp to where it is now? Was anybody rising in particular that kind of took your eye? You know, uh, just, uh, you know, guys on defense, guys like Austin Arnold are starting to emerge on defense. Um, I think EJ Muhammad's doing a really nice job um, at, at corner. Uh, Daniel Brown has had a very good camp. Um, you know, Jamon Dotson at, at corner as well. All three of those guys have had really good camps. Um, as far as surprises, no. I just, I'm really pleased with our depth at defensive line. You know, uh, Corey Rush has done a great job of leading that group. Um, but Caleb Meters come in and really been a force there. Adam Lopez is a guy that got here late in the summer. He's given us depth at that position. You know, Jarius McDade has come back and been really strong in camp. We're much more physical. It's obvious we're much bigger in the D-line. You know, when you're playing an odd front, you got to be able to control the line of scrimmage with three people. And our guys have done a tremendous job of that in camp. And, and we really challenge them to play great every week and, and, and knock that offensive line back. Coach, I think between the end of last season and the beginning of this, the big personnel move would, would probably be Malik Reed. Can, can you update us on the, the latest with Malik? Yeah, Malik, uh, Malik's making a lot of progress and really starting to show up this last week. And 
especially with our different sub packages and the things we can do on third down. He's just such a versatile player, and, and, and uh, he's got great skills as a pass rusher, um, but he's also learning how to drop and cover, cover uh, backs and play zone coverage. Uh, but he's just a force. He practices so hard, runs to the football, and he's really getting a feel for what Coach Castile wants as a linebacker. So um, I just I expect him to just continue to improve every week. I think our coaches are going to be really creative on how we use him because he has a lot of different skills. And, um, you know, he's kind of a wild card on defense. We can kind of move him around and use him wherever we want. And so, uh, you know, and that'll change week to week as we play different opponents. You know, he'll have different roles from week to week. What does game week feel like for you to see the students out here now? I mean, you've been doing all this work behind closed doors, and now that you guys are out here. Yeah, school started. It's a different week, and we've talked to our players a lot about being mature. And, uh, you know, we want to be a team of action that talks less and, and does more. Um, really excited about getting started tomorrow. You know, tomorrow's our Wednesday practice, even though it's Tuesday. You know, our whole week has moved up a day because we play Friday night. So really, really excited about that. Um, you know, our kids had a good practice today, and then we'll have our Wednesday hump day practice tomorrow on Tuesday. And, you know, this week's going to go fast. It's a Friday game, and uh, it'll be here before we know it. With this game being on Friday, um, looking at maybe ahead a week, is this kind of, was this a benefit or reason to play Friday, getting ready for Vanderbilt? Yeah, or You know, your opening game, you could play it early, you know. I'd love to play it Thursday night, to be honest with you. Um, before Labor Day weekend, but gives us an extra day the next week to work on Vanderbilt. And, and so, you know, we'll actually practice this Sunday. So they'll have a, a day off Saturday. We'll practice. We'll get an extra day of work next week on Vanderbilt. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's that time of year. You know, I think Friday night, I'm not sure how many games are Friday night, but I can't imagine there's going to be a ton. And uh, so it's always good to play Friday. You get a little bit more attention on your game. You mentioned the attendance. I mean, how important is it to get fans back into this building to watch your program play this year? I think it's, I think it's real important. I think we have a real entertaining team. I think we're going to have a, a team that people are going to like to watch. Um, I think we're going to build on a lot of the things we started last year, especially on offense. Um, and we have some exciting new play, players on defense as well. Um, but I think we're going to be a fun team to watch. You know. I don't know. I, that's just what I did in the fall. I went to football games on Saturday. So I think there's a lot of people in this town that are the same way and, and looking for good football on Saturdays. And, and I think we can provide that for them. After a 3-9 and nine season last year, so what do you need to accomplish this year to say you guys are taking a step forward and you're on the arc you want to be as a program? I mean, we, we, we feel like we, we have improved this team in every area, and we want to show that every week. So. Um, you know, we we want to win. We want to go to bowl games. We want to compete for championships. And I mean, we talk about our goals. Our goals are are the same. We want to we want to go to a bowl game. We want to compete to represent our division in the championship game. And we want to play in a bowl game. And we want to win a bowl game. So, I mean, those are our goals. So um, we want to improve. We think we've improved ourselves defensively. We think we're more dynamic on offense. Um, and we, ha we have to ha find ways to get off the field defensively and hold them, people down in points. And, and obviously, if we can score more points, we should be on the better, better side of the ledger. So we're really excited about the improvements that we've made as a team. Notice the kicker, Ramiz, is, is listed at the top of the depth chart. Uh, did he just win a, a, a fall camp battle? I guess we're yeah. in the kicker position. Swing. So Ramiz came in last year, and he was primarily our kickoff guy. and. Uh, He's really worked hard in his timing with his field goals. And, uh, and him and Spencer have been competing all camp. Right now, you know, we have a lot of confidence in both kickers, but just feel like Ramiz has a little stronger leg, a little more pop. And so that's going to be important. I mean, I really think looking at our schedule, we're going to play a lot of close games. And special teams and our field goals are going to be a big part of that. Um, so. You know, we, we just can, we got a little bit more length with Ramiz in the game, and that's been the difference so far. Yeah. Rick, are you expecting Portland State to use two quarterbacks? No, I don't know. I don't know. They did last year. Both those kids played. And, 
you know, there's enough film on both of them, so we're prepared for both of them to play, and, and they're both a little bit different. Uh, Ten's a really dynamic runner, and um, we have to be ready for him. Our kids are familiar with him. He's, a, he's an L.A. kid. A lot of our guys played against him in high school. And then six is, is, is uh, not as tall, but, you know, maybe a little bit more accurate passer and still keeps plays alive with his feet. So we're going to have to be ready for both of them. They both played, and they're both real capable. Even it's obviously a week one opponent. How much can you take from the video you have on them, or do you just, when it's week one, do you focus more on yourself? You know, week one's always a little bit interesting. You never really know what to expect. You know, they... Uh, they have new coordinators on both sides of the ball. We, we kind of anticipate some things from them offensively because their head coach has been the offensive coordinator. But defensively, we don't know. We don't know what we're going to see. Uh, we've prepared for a lot of different things, and it's really important that our quarterback and our players you know, be able to adjust as the game goes along because of that unknown. It's pretty typical of a first game. You're never quite sure what you're going to get from your opponent the first game. Speaking of which, I watched uh, Colorado State and Hawaii play and couldn't help but think, you know, it's a conference game for these guys. Which is better? Is it? Do you prefer maybe a smaller opponent like Nevada is doing? Or what's, what's the ideal opener to you? Do you, do you prove what those guys did? Uh, I, mean, I, think, I think I would prefer to start with a non-conference opponent personally. Um, you know, especially when you have new players playing, you like to get uh, some players the opportunity to play. Um, but I thought, you know, I, I thought Hawaii was very impressive the other night. Um, you know, I, I got a hold of Coach Rolo and told him that, uh, you know, they did a great job of executing offensively. Typically, your, your opening game, there's, there's errors with penalties and in the kicking game. And if you watch that game, that's where the errors were. It was a little bit sloppy in a lot of ways. So we've talked about that. You know, we. One of the things when you don't play zero week, you get the benefit of watching other people play. And we, we learned a lot from that game, you know, how people handled decisions in the kicking game, uh, the penalty situations, the very first play of the game, Hawaii got a penalty for delay a game, which is unheard of. You know, how can you get a delay a game on the first play of the game? Well, they changed the rules this year. As soon as the kickoff goes, the 40-second clock starts, and the offense has got to hustle out on the field and get the, get the ball snapped. So, you know, there's new rules in place this year. There's a new kickoff rule. There's new rules for timing in between scoring plays and kickoffs. And so the, the players have to be aware of that. And, and, you know, all year long, we spend a lot of time talking about those situations. And we always want to be the smarter team, you know, on the field. And so we, we tried to learn from some of the mistakes that were made in that game. Corey, it's game week. I mean, just first off, how excited are you to hit somebody that's not wearing the same uniform as you? Um, I'm super excited. Um, obviously, you think you have a gauge of where you're at um, going against the offense and going against um, our own opponent or our own team. Um, but you really can't gauge where you're at until you go against another opponent, and I'm really excited to see what our defense is really looking like. What are you expecting out of the Portland State offense? Um, very explosive. Um, with whatever quarterback they play, 10 or 6, uh, you know they're going to be very mobile. Um, get out of the pocket, and it's it's going to be a challenge to contain them, whatever they do. What does game week, game week actually feel like for you? Like, what's it feel like to have it here? It's your senior season. I mean, what are you feeling right now? Um, just a lot of energy. I mean, having everybody back on campus, all the kids back out, um, and then finally knowing that we're going to reap the benefits of a full calendar year of work. Um, I mean, if you think about football, obviously we work a year for 12 games, and this is already the first of 12. Um, just trying to stay in the moment and cherish every minute that I have with the guys to, before the game and, and to play the first game. Lessons that can be learned from the, uh, the Idaho State game last year, you know, Big Sky Conference team coming to Reno, that sort of thing. Uh, absolutely. Um, that was my first time losing to um, a D Division One uh, FCS team. Um, but the year before, we had a close call with Cal Poly, and I think the year before that, we had a close call with UC Davis. So we've never really um, played very well against an FCS team, and um, I'm just kind of tired of that. Um, obviously, Portland State is going to be a much improved team, but I just really want us to, to, to play well against a FCS opponent. Where do you feel like this defense is better? Uh, I think we're better just in terms of knowing the scheme and knowing our assignment. Um, I think last year, I mean, me and Coach Kofusi were actually just talking about it. Um, it was like mid, mid, mid time of the year, around week six. We finally, I felt like, understood 
exactly how to play certain blocks. And that just comes with time. I mean, we have we had a new coaching staff. You can make all the excuses in the world, but I just also think our effort's much better. And um, that's all it is. Defensive football is just flying to the football. Um, but I think the cohesion of the group as a whole has gotten better, and our effort's gotten extremely better. So that's where I see the improvement. Oh, sorry. Nick. You, uh, do you miss Malik right there, or is it good to, to know that he's right behind you? Uh, I mean, Malik's Malik. He's, he's right there. So um, we play on the same side. So he's still like right behind me, but I definitely miss having him in the D line room. Um, just the energy he has going through individual drills is where I miss him the most because um, anytime I feel like not necessarily going full go, I would always see him. I'm like, all right, well, I got to, you know what I mean? I got to match that intensity. So not having that in, in, in those drills is the hardest. Um, but he's still on the field with me, and we're still doing our thing. Do you feel like you have to replace his pass rushing skills? I mean, you guys are a lot bigger up front, but maybe nobody who's a proven pass rusher quite like you. Yeah, yeah definitely. I mean, he's still going to be rushing the passer. I think that he'll still be a very productive pass rusher. Um, but I've definitely had to pick up uh, some of my moves and, and uh, learn from him and really talk to him about um, the best ways to rush the passer. Um, but, yeah, definitely. I think as a whole we have to improve, and as a whole we have to make up for what he brought to the table, um, the entire D-line. So, but, yeah, I definitely feel a weight, as you said, to, uh, to uh, bring more to the pass rush table. Starting the season at home compared to last year on the road, I mean, what are the benefits of that? Um, man, uh, I don't – I don't really know. I kind of like starting, starting on the road last year just because it's like fun to uh, get with your boys and traveling's fun. Like I, I really like like college football kind of and like the the um, the brotherly type vibe. But starting at home's fun. Just getting it out of the way and being able to get in front of the home the home uh, audience and everything. Um, that's awesome. And just like you know what I'm saying, school starting energy. That that type of stuff is awesome too. Maybe get a sense that the team's confidence as a whole is higher than it was at this time last year. Um, yeah, yeah, I would say so. Especially just you know what I mean. Like we have we have our starting quarterback in place. Um, we have our defense for the most part in place. Like everybody's like knows what they're doing, knows their role, and knows their set. I would say um, confidence is up because we have a stronger understanding of what our role is as individuals. To protect Mackey Stadium and to get lots of seats and, and give up and give a product that people want to come out and see. Um, it's very important. Um, we just, we just we're talking about it as a as a team. You never want to lose at home. Like we have some tough opponents later in, in the season. I think our hardest games are at home. But our goal is 100. percent We have to go six and zero at home, no matter who we play. Um, that's just something that has to happen. You know what I mean? And uh, I think if you set your set your standard there and uh, decide that you're not going to fall short, we'll have a special season. like the offense will be better this year. I mean, you guys really peaked at the end of the season. I mean, you feel like you're carrying that momentum kind of into this year? Oh, yes, sir, for sure. I think overall as a whole offense, uh, I think we're way better. I mean, we have a set quarterback going into this year. Our chemistry with the receivers and the quarterback is way better than last year. And I just think we're way ahead, uh, like, as game one, going into game one as we were last year. And I think we're clicking on offense. Back back in place. How, how beneficial is that that you know who your guy's going to be? You're not going to spend you know non-conference play trying to figure out who that guy is. It's, it's huge. I mean, working throughout the summer with him, you know, run routes and get our timing down and just get that chemistry and get that trust with the quarterback is huge. What's the biggest improvement you've seen with Ty? Uh, I mean, Ty's just, he's a great leader, and I think overall his deep ball has gotten a lot better and just his reads have gotten a lot better from last year. You obviously had a great year last year. Where, where are you looking to improve to get better coming off an All-American season? Uh, right now, my main focus is just be the best leader I can be and just be the best team player. I have a few goals set, but I mean, right now, my main focus is to be the best team player I can be. Don, um, he was obviously a huge red zone target. I guess who, who picks up that slack, and do you feel like you've had to be more vocal with the group, you know, being the most productive guy coming back? No, yes, sir. I mean, Wyatt was a that's a huge loss for us last year. But I mean, as a receiving core this year, we kind of came together and we're all kind of leading, being vocal, and just taking over that role. And I feel like we have some we have some big receivers that can take that role. I mean, we got Elijah Cooks, OJ. We have uh, Cole Turner, Romeo Dubs, Deion Henley. All those guys, 
they're big threats in the red zone for sure. Do you think when you look at those guys, I and mean, you're kind of the only smaller guy, you and maybe Caleb, I guess, of the group, everybody else seems like they're like six three or taller. So, yeah, I just I I'm just try to use my speed as best I can because I'm not as big as those guys. So I just try to get open with my speed and my technique mostly. Camp about moving you out of the slot, moving all you guys around, showing teams different looks. Is that something you're looking forward to? Yes, sir. I'm looking forward to that a lot. I mean, last year I felt like the defense kind of got a beat on us. They knew where we were as, rece as receivers. We were just playing inside and just playing outside. And this year we're all switching around and uh, just excited to see what we can do as a receiving core. What do you think is going to make this offense so dynamic? I mean, our athletes, as a receiving core, we have uh, huge receivers. I mean, we have speed, athletic ability. We have a great quarterback, and we have a great offensive line and great running backs. So I just think when we're clicking, we're going to be we're going to be really good. Defenses are watching film. You guys have planned it for you guys. What do you want them to think about when they know they're going to have to line up with you guys? Uh, just be ready for a dogfight, sir. FCS loss last season. Has there been a message about not overlooking Portland State? Oh, yes, sir, for sure. I mean, we're just taking it one game at a time right now. We're focused on Portland State. We're just, we're, we got a bunch of guys that are hungry to get a W the first game. What's going to be the, the difference between opening up on the road last year to now this year opening up at home? I mean, just being able to play in Mackey Stadium in front of our own fans and just playing in front of that home crowd and just getting going early. Go like for you, man. You probably just got a peek at all the students out there now, and you you were in the dog days of summer before this, and now you're in it. Oh, it's exciting. I mean, we've been here all summer working out, going through the dog days all summer, fall camp. I mean, it's exciting. It's finally here, three days away, and I just can't wait to get on the field and hit someone with a different color jersey. What have you seen as you've gone against, especially the ones from your own teammates? What's better on the defensive side of the ball to you? Uh, I mean, our our defensive backs have gotten way better this year. I mean, they're giving us good looks on defense. I feel like overall, as a, their speed has gotten a lot better in their cover skills. Coach mentioned they have a new defensive coordinator there. How do you kind of prepare, maybe not knowing what to see, what you're going to see? Uh, I mean, we've been watching film from where the defense coordinator defense coordinator came from, and uh, we're just expecting a flex flex defense with uh, some man coverage and some cover three, and we're just. Coming, coming out, out I, mean, I mean, we're ready, ready for everything and just know what we're expecting. Anything else from McClain? Thank you. I mean, Ty, first off, I mean, what do you expect to see out of Portland State? Yeah, well, they got a new defense coordinator, so um, we've been watching some film on some schools that he's been in the past, but you know, we don't know what exactly we're going to face, so we kind of got to be prepared for everything. and. You know, adjust on the fly in the game and, and make adjustments and communicate really well during the game. I know you didn't play in the game last year, but the loss to Idaho State, what's been the message about not overlooking Portland State? Yeah, just respect. Um, you know, we've looked at Portland State and what they've done in the past, and, you know, they've shown they've played FBF schools really well. So, you know, we want to come out, you know, respect them and, and just play our game, um, not take anybody lightly, um, and just do it one game at a time. What's it like uh, knowing uh, the receiving core, arguably one of the deepest on the team? What's it like to be the guy that, that works hand in hand with them? Yeah, it's pretty cool having all, all those guys. Um, you know, I feel comfortable with anybody who's back there. It's kind of cool. We just kind of got a rotation, not not necessarily ones and twos. Um, you know, everybody can play, everybody can rotate in. So, um, you know, excited to have all those guys as weapons and, and use them. Comfortable are you now knowing that you're the guy that's you know not penciled in, you're penned in as the starting quarterback, and you had a whole off season with these guys. What's your comfort level right now? Yeah, I feel extremely comfortable. I'm going into week one. I think it's a lot different than last year. Um, you know, everybody we, we're a year into it. Um, everybody knows what to do and what to expect. So, you know, we want to come out this week and, and come out sharp and ready to play, um, and hopefully not have any you know first game hiccups um, that usually first year teams have. Do you feel any extra pressure knowing now you are the guy, or has maybe all your battles in the past really helped prepare you for this season? Yeah, I think it's prepared me a lot. Um, you know, I'm just excited and want to go out there and have fun this week. Um, you know, it's my last first game of college football, so I'm excited and feel comfortable going into it. What are the emotions of the game week like for you, knowing that the students are here and uh, you, know, you actually get to put your actual jerseys on this Friday? Yeah, it's, it's exciting. Um, the atmosphere is starting to build up. Um, you know, sick of, sick of facing our defense, so it'll, it'll be fun going against another team and playing real football. So, um, just excited for this week. 
Uh, we talked about the receivers, but if you guys were able to, to stretch the defense out a little bit, it must be good knowing you can hand the ball off to to some like pretty talented group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. You know, not only do we have a deep receiving core, we have you know a deep deep depth at, at running back. So, um, you know, hopefully we'll be able to come out pretty balanced. You know, threaten them with the vertical game and threaten them with the run game. Yeah, definitely. I think everybody's, everybody's a lot more knowledgeable. Um, everybody knows what to, what to expect, and you know we're trying to be an extremely powerful offense and put up a lot of points every week. So, um, starting this week, we want to come out sharp. Do you have one question mark on the offense with the offensive line? I mean, you might have a former defensive tackle at center and a tight end at, at right tackle. I mean, how can you help them? A pretty young group, you know, with your veteran experience. You know, get yeah. Them I mean, that's just me studying and, and learning protections and knowing who I'm hot off of and, and all that stuff. But no, I believe in our in our offensive line this year. No, I think last year we were talking about how the offensive line was going to be questionable last year, and you know, I think they proved themselves last year. So um, I, I think the same thing will happen this year. I'm confident in them and excited to see them play. I fight a lot in the red zone last year. He's obviously gone. You have some very tall receivers on this year's squad. I mean, has anybody kind of stood out as a guy that you might target or look at in that area? Um, I, I wouldn't say one guy. I mean, we got we got a pretty uh, a pretty good depth of receivers out there, especially on the goal line. I I really trust all of them. You know, they're all pretty big receivers, and I know they're all going to go up and make a play for me. So, you know, I just got to give them a chance and. Um, you know, throw it, throw it to the guy with the best chance, the best, best opportunity to go make a play. How important is it to come out and, you know, put a dominant effort forth, uh, you know, for the fans who come out to see that, you know, this is a different team. You can go out and beat a, a lower division team pretty handily and maybe get some additional confidence heading into a big game against an SEC opponent. Yeah, I think it just sets the tone for the season. Um, you know, that's, that's why we're emphasizing it's so important to come out and start fast. Um, it'll set the tone for the season and let us roll into next week. Um, but, like but like I said, I said we're, we're taking, taking it one week at a time. Um, you know, right now, right now for us, this is the most important game of the season. So, um, you know, it's, it's big to have a good start this week. Do you have any preference? Would you rather uh, last year, you know, big opponent on the road, this, uh, this year's smaller opponent, but you get to open at home. Is there, is there an advantage either way? Do you have a personal preference? I think there might be an advantage playing at home. Um, I always like playing at home to, to start the season. Um, we, talked we talked a lot about, about you, know, you know the history of playing, of playing at home and our record at home, and you know history has shown that we rarely rarely, rarely lose at home. So we want to uphold that standard this year um, in all our home games. So it all starts this week. Also, what's it mean to just show people here in town that you guys are for real and that you're, you're trying to make a statement this year that you've improved a lot? Yeah, definitely, it's huge to come out and have a good start. You know, hopefully, you know, hoping hoping that the fans will come out and support us and. You know, if we do well, hopefully they'll keep coming out and keep supporting us. Coach mentioned you as the offensive captain. Is that a big deal to you as a player? How do you work with that? Yeah, it's definitely a big responsibility for me. I'm excited and honored to be a captain of this team. And, you know, I just got to come out every day with, with high energy, high intensity, hold everybody accountable, and make sure we get our work done every day so that we're prepared on Saturdays, in this case, Friday. Lucas, you being a local, I mean, with the first game of the season right here, I mean, do you more than anybody maybe understand how important it is and how big it is to run out into the stadium at Mackey? Yeah, I mean, it's huge. I don't know if it's more than anybody, really. I, I've been here around. I know, like, kind of what, what's expected of us. Um, but I think everybody has a pretty good idea of what's expected of us, you know, coming into this first game. Has there been a message um, around the locker room about not overlooking this first opponent? Oh, for sure. I mean, we, we really can't look overlook any opponent, uh, especially this opponent. You know, they're good against FBS schools. So, um, and they, they're on film. They, they're really they're a good team. You know, they're physical up front. Uh, they do some things really well. They got key players. Um, so yeah, I mean, we definitely can't overlook them, and I think everybody knows that too. How do you feel like you guys have made strides uh, on defense during, during camp? Um, I think that one of the biggest things is we're playing really physical. We got guys running to the ball, um, and just knowing what we're supposed to do. You know, guys doing their job. That was a big thing last year. Is guys were you know just misaligned a little bit or jumping gaps, and things like that. And I think if everybody's kind of like on their their job this year, and it's it's tough to beat teams like that.
what does game week feel like uh, for you, especially knowing this is your last first yeah. game week? But what is, how much different do you feel just seeing the kids on campus and knowing like we actually have a game this week? Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Um, actually, we just had our uh, mock game last week, and it just kind of getting ready for that too. I was like, wow, it's here. Uh, you kind of get the butterflies, and it was just a mock game and stuff. And so it's this first game rolling around, you know, the students on campus today, you get this kind of just like feeling, and it, it's pretty exciting. Lucas, your unit in particular is going to be arguably one of the strongest on the field for the pack. Could you, could you talk about how the linebacking core has come together during fall camp and, and what we can expect to see? Yeah, um, I think, you know, we're, we're playing physical, more physical, I think, um, than we have. And I think guys just know what they're supposed to do, you know. We, uh, we, we brought Malik back, and he's uh, to the linebacker corp, and he's just a really physical player, um, just kind of having everybody knowing what they're doing. And, you know, we've gotten to be pretty smart, too. If one guy's in the wrong gap, the other guy just fixes it rather than having two people in that gap. And, um, you know, we're just kind of playing off of each other. It's, been, it's actually really fun. When you look at Portland State on the offensive side of the ball, what are you expecting? It's pretty similar to our offense, um, which has been nice because we're kind of running. We've been practicing against that. Um, they like to throw the ball. You know, they'll get outside sometimes and stretch us. Um, they'll run some bellies. But, you know, it's first game. We're just judging off what they did last year. So really it can be a little unexpected, but we have a pretty good idea of what they're going to do. Um, yeah, I think maybe a little bit. We have guys knowing what they're supposed to do. And I think last year it was kind of, we had confidence, but it wasn't really, you know, guys, we, we couldn't really run exactly everything we wanted to run because we just didn't know it. And now we know what we're supposed to do. And like, especially on defense, you know, guys are in the right spot when they're supposed to be. And I think that's big just as a confidence thing, you know, seeing on film every day. That kind of also related to the stability at the quarterback spot now. Yeah, I mean that's the offensive side of the ball. Uh, defensively, you know, we'll we'll do what we're supposed to do and rally behind whoever's at quarterback. Uh, it's really nice to have, you know, a starter going into game one um, that's pinned in, like you guys said, rather than penciled in. This Friday and show people here that uh, you know you guys are a much different team than, than what they saw last season. It's huge. Um, it's really big. You know, I think Corey was saying how, you know, these ga home games are huge. You can't lose at home, and it, this is our first home game. Um, so we need to come out and make a statement. But this is a good football team. We can't overlook them. When you've been here, I mean, growing up in this area, when Mackey Stadium was full and overflowing with people, I mean, what would it mean to you guys to be able to, at the end of the season, kind of make that situation happen again where people are excited to come out to games? Oh, it'd be huge. I remember the energy, you know, growing up here and coming to those games and just and being a fan and having that energy, you know. it's I can't even imagine playing in that. I think it'd be huge for everybody, you know. It'd, it'd put a bigger spotlight on us. Uh, the stage would be bright. We'd be flying around. It'd be fun. Wait, uh, you know, to get it back to that spot. Yeah, yeah. I think we, we just need to win. Inspiration. Um, oh, man. Uh, you know, I started it, but I've gotten uh, a little bit of Freddie Mercury in me, I think, a little bit. But <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, and Norvell too. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think that's up to you guys, but I think I'm rocking it pretty good. So. 